Warning, if you are getting radiation treatment for any reason, we would like to make you aware that there may be after effects the doctors might not warn you about. If you had radiation at any time in the past and you had strange problems for years afterward, which you suspected might be side effects, and the doctors denied it, we'd like you to know that it was not all in your head. Prostogondritis is an inflammation of the nerves around the sternum. One friend I'll call Lal suffered eight years of pain because of a misdiagnosis of one neuropathy, then had radiation for breast cancer, which made the existing neuropathy much worse, and she nearly died from the combination. It's like a synapse. It's like I'm thinking, and then I, I can't do that. So if I want to go touch that flower, I think, and then I, it's not a... That's the Oxycontin. Very, very powerful painkillers. And that's what you're on right now. That's why you feel so dopey. Her doctors gave her meds to help her sleep as much as possible, which was the only time she was not in pain. The surgeon and radiation doctor denied any connection between her condition and the radiation. Do some research on post-radiation neuropathy or radiation-induced neuropathy. Until the last few years, the medical system in the U.S. wouldn't admit that there was any such thing. But in England, preparation for it has been required for many years. Look it up. Hello, how are you? I still have that pain over here. You still have the pain right there? Okay. Is the Oxycontin addressing it at all? All it does is take care of pain for a short period of time and then, I, and then I'm in pain again. I was the one that used to get people off of drugs doing yoga. I know, but this is working for you, right? I mean, not really, but I mean... Let's address the pain first. We'll give you the Oxycontin. In between, we'll give you the Percocet. That's what we've been trying to do. Well, we're going to try the Percocet this time. And uh, I'll give you a prescription of that. All right? Do you know that all these years I used to do yoga with people and help them breathe and get rid of the pain? When to I'm not be a medication? Sorry, you can't keep doing that. I know that, one of these people. Yeah, I know that. But this is going to address the pain, and that's what our main concern is right now. So I'll get that prescription yeah, for you, I, and you should why be all set. Well, we can talk about that in my office another day. All right? All right. All right. Thank you. Okay. They don't know what they're doing. They don't know. They don't. They don't have a diagnosis. I don't want the pain. I don't want the painkillers. I, I just. I, I don't know what I want. I don't know what I want. Well, you're pretty. I just don't want up. to be in pain. You're pretty doped up at the moment. I'm not sure you're going to be entirely rational. Let's just do what the doctor says. And see how it goes. Well, if I can. I have to find a way to relax my body so that it doesn't create tension which would make this worse. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But I can't relax my body because I'm on the painkillers because this thing is killing my body. Yeah, the trouble with the Oxycontin is it seems to, <coughs> it seems to just make, like, make it like you don't care about the pain, but it's not really helping the Of course it's not. Tension or the and it's not allowing me to be able to use my body to help relax it so that the pain doesn't have as much of an effect on my body. Well, we need to start looking at the resources. On the recommendation of my therapist, I submitted her case to a website called CrowdMed. What they do is put the case in front of hundreds of doctors all over the world who search databases for anything that might help. Wouldn't you think that this is the way our medical system should work? They came up with many suggestions, but our doctors poo-pooed anything from the internet and wouldn't even look at the research. Then her GP cut off all her scripts and told her to see a psychiatrist. You're stopping your prescription because you think it's all in her head? I can't keep doing this. Why not? I can't. She cannot be in all these drugs forever. Are you out of your mind? You've been seeing her for years and you know how much pain she's in. What are we supposed to do? You know she will be in screaming pain as soon as the last dose wears off. Well, we better get another appointment with a psychiatrist before she runs out. I cannot do this any longer. Finally, a new GP, suggested by a very good friend, put her on a maximum dose of Neurontin, which gave her enough relief to start a long, slow process of recovery. It was one of the suggestions for CrowdMed, which we could have used months earlier had her doctors at the time been willing to listen. You are not crazy. Radiation can cause these problems, and you are not alone. <laughs>